Shalom. I want to start off by saying, Kal Halal Yomla, Yahweh, Basham, Yahushai, Basham, Reka Kodash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone for teaching us the truth and who rule well. Peace and citations unto the Akim that is spread around the four corners of the earth, spreading this word of sincerity and the truth. Shalom to the whole Philelek. I'm the brother Kota Zayan from the James Holland branch, coming back through the spirit and power of Yahweh Basham Yahushai with another lesson, with another video. Lord willing, this video is edifying. So in this lesson, I want to go into John 15, verse 18. And I'm going to read on down until verse 21. This is John 15, verse 18. Entitled, Disciples, Relation to the World. If the world hate you, ye know that it hated me before it hated you. If ye were of the world, the world would love its own. But because ye are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hated you. Amen. And this is exactly what we witness when we stand in the highways and byways. You know, people, when they come up to us and we explain certain things to them like hey it is not hard for you to go back to the ways of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai to come to return to the ways of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai to, re to return and to convert that's not that hard man you know because we ourselves we were once part of the world you know for example like how you read the book of Romans the, the book of Ephesians the book of uh, the, uh, Thessalonians, Philippians, those are all Israelites that are living or that were living in um, these other areas and that took on the ways of that country and that area that they were living in. You know, in the same way, we also, when we were born and we moved, you know, we, we, we moved to, to Holland, we moved to different uh, other countries. We were also part of the world. We were also uh, partaking in the, the ways of the world. But now that we have returned back to Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, when we explain these thing to, things to people, people, they look at us, they frown. They're like, so you think you're, you're, you're better, better than us? You know, especially the ones that knew you back in the world. You know, so they, they look at you like, hey, uh, you think you're you're some saint right now, you know, because you hold the Bible in your hand, and that's how people see us, man. They start to um, 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 how should I say it? They start to separate themselves from our company. You know, they don't want to be around us anymore, and they even start to gossip about us you know i know that family members jake family members they often do that you see when you're gone then they talk about yeah you know he, since he since he uh been doing that thing on saturday he changed this and that so they start to get this 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 feeling towards us which is basically hate they if you were still in the world, if you were still the way that they liked you back then, then they would love you. But now they start to despise you because you don't eat certain things anymore. You don't want to be continually in their company anymore. So they, that, that stirs up hate within them. Let me go to... For example, First John, First John four, verse five, and it reads, "They are of the world, therefore speak they of the world, and the world heareth them. We are of Yahweh, Bashem Yahushai. He that knoweth Yahweh, Bashem Yahushai, heareth us. He that is not of Yahweh, Bashem Yahushai." Hear it not us. 
hereby know we the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. God, so when we stand in the highways and byways and we speak these words, you know, we prophesy unto the wind, the sheep of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai are going to hear these words and they are going to return, they are going to come and they are going to come into the, the sheepfold. You see, just like the scripture says, uh, thy eyes shall see thy teachers. So and you're going to hear a word behind you saying, this is the way, walk ye in it, roughly paraphrasing. So the ones that are of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, they, they are going to take heed to these words. But the people that are of the world, which this world is being ruled by Satan right now, they are contrary unto these words that we are speaking. So by nature, by default, they are going to hate these words that we speak. So ultimately, they are going, also going to hate us. They are going to separate us from their company. See? Let's go to John 17. Like, yeah. Verse 14. And let me read on to verse 20. And this is red letter, so this is Yahushai speaking. I have given them thy word, and the world had hated them because of the word, because of the word that we speak. Like I just explained, we speak these words and we also practice these words, you know. We practice what we preach. So when we say we don't do certain things, then we don't do it. And the people of the world, the people, the people that are under the, the spell of Satan, that are under the spell of the children of disobedience that rule this earth right now, you know, they are going to hate the truth. They are going to hate these words that we speak and ultimately they are going to hate us. So it says, I have given them thy word, and the world had hated them, because they are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. So Yahushua is not of the world. I pray not that thou shouldest take them out of the world, but that, that thou should keep them from the evil. God, so Yahushua doesn't pray that we be taken out of the world right now. He wants us to be preserved. He wants us to be preserved and, and, and taken out of the way of evil, that no evil comes near us. Verse 16, they are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. Sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth. You see? So the words of Yahweh Shem Yahushai, the Bible, those are the things, that's, that's what sanctifies us. That's what cleanses us. That's what... Is going to keep us from evil and the evil that is to come and the breath of the Most High that is to come. That's going to keep us, you see, as long as we abide into the, in the truth, as long as we abide in the words of Yahweh Shem Yahushai, then we are going to be sanctified. We are going to be protected. We are going to be cleansed because the word sanctified means to be cleansed. As thou hast sent me into the world, even so have I also sent them in the world. And for their sakes I sanctify myself, that they also might be sanctified through the truth. So Yahweh sanctified himself, you know, he didn't sin, not even once with his lips, and he sacrificed himself for us, for the, uh, the us in the latter end. For us in the latter times in this time that we're living in you know so now we are sanctified by Yahweh Shai and by the word uh, because and Yahweh Shai he is the word that was made flesh you see verse 20 neither pray I for these alone but for them also which shall believe on me through their word 
like I was speaking in the beginning, when we speak this verse of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh and, and, and to the wind, when we prophesy to the wind, the sheep are going to hear this word and they are also going to be sanctified. They are also going to be made holy by these words. You see? Verse 21, that they all may be one, so that we have one mind, one doctrine, that we come under one banner. As thou, Father, art in me, and I in thee, having the same mind, that they also may be one in us, that the world may believe that thou hast sent me. You see? So we are, are basically the small light beacons on this earth. Yahushai was that light, that first light. And we are also those, those, those smaller twinkling lights now here upon earth. So when people see us, see, see the way that we move, it's like the scripture says in Matthew 10, I believe, I was reading that, that... <clears throat> By this, the people are going to know that we are the disciples of Yahweh, by, of Yahweh Shai, is because we love one another, you know. If you look at niggas in the world, if you look at so-called friends in the world, they have a worldly love or a worldly way of, worldly way of, 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 of dealing with each other. But we are going to be separated by the love that we have towards one another because we know the love that we have towards one another is the love that we show to Yahweh Shai is the love that we show to the church of Yahweh Shai to the body of Yahweh Shai you see so like the scripture says also you should prefer um, your brother over yourself roughly paraphrasing that's wherein the Most High is well pleased So let me go to, I got a precept in my Bible, didn't double check it yet. Well, let me see what it says. Luke 6, verse 22. Blessed are ye when men shall hate you, and when they shall separate you from their company, and shall reproach you, and cast out your name as evil for the Son of Man's sake. You see? When these things happen to, to you, then you are blessed. Why? Because you know that these people are wicked. You know you know that these people are following uh, idolatry. You know that they are uh, practicing witchcraft of, or that they don't know the light, that they haven't seen the light, that they don't know the ways of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. So you know that that is dwelling within those people. Sin is overtaking these people. Iniquity is overtaking these people, which iniquity is sin upon sin. So by knowing that, and that they are separating themselves from your company, shows you that you are doing something right. It shows you that you, like the scripture says, are blessed in the sight of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. Because that's what it basically comes down to. When you are making yourselves holy, means that you are setting yourself apart you know you are not going into the ways of the world not going to onto this uh, satanic vibration you know like when i turn on the radio you know i turn on spotify for example looking for some songs skip 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 i, I skip a bunch of songs before i even hear one song that is kind of upbeat up tempo and has no wickedness in it so that's that vibration that Esau put upon our people. That's that spell that he's putting up upon the people here upon earth. So when these people separate you from their presence, then you are blessed in the sight of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Because that's also what they did to Yahweh Shai, man. They hated Yahweh Shai for the words that he was speaking. And also they hate us. They separate us from their company because we don't go into the ways that they go. 
first Peter four verse four. And it reads wherein they think it strange that ye were not with them to the same access of riot speaking evil of you. Gone. So these people they think it's strange when you don't excessively take uh, part in these these riots that they are doing, these revelings. Let's go into that word riot. Excess. This is uh, excess, which is in the Greek, anakaisis. Strong's G401. Anachusis. 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 And the outline of biblical usage says an overflowing or pouring out, an excess. So that's the word excess. Let's go into that word riot, which is asotia in the Greek. The outline of biblical usage says an abundant, dissolute life, profligacy, prodigality, and the strong's definition says, let me see, unsafeness. Let's go into this word. Dissol, dissolute. Look up. It says, a person or a way of life overindulging in sensual pleasures. Point blank, period. That's what it is. A dissolute life. The overindulgence, over access in sensual pleasures is going after your lust, basically. Because what is uh, lust is that your senses are being triggered, are being um, um, height, not heightened, but they're being yeah overloaded when your senses are being overloaded when your lust is, is is very uh high then your senses are being overloaded basically so like the scripture also says uh if a person she that liveth in pleasures is dead while she liveth you see let me grab that real quick This verse, First Timothy five verse six. But she that liveth in pleasure is dead while she liveth. See, so overdulging in sensual, sensual pleasures, that is what these other people have, and they are in the congregation of the dead, you know, because they don't know restraint. They don't know how to uh, um, contain themselves and to follow righteousness. Gone. So let me go back to John, John 15. So let me read verse 20 and 21 to close it off. John 15 verse 20. Remember the word that I said unto you, the servant is not greater than his Lord. If they have persecuted me, they will also persecute you. If they have kept my saying, they will keep yours also. So the ones that persecuted Yahweh Shai, they are, for a sure thing, are going to persecute us also for speaking the truth, for speaking and preaching Yahweh Shai, not for preaching Jesus, uh, Cesar Borgir, you know, because he stands for something else. But Yahweh Shai stands for truth, and 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 the real judgment of Yahweh Shem Yahshai is going to come here upon earth. So when we preach that, just like how Apostle Paul was being persecuted persecuted for preaching Yahweh Shai, we are also going to be persecuted in that time. But the ones that keep kept Yahweh Shai saying, those are going to keep it at this time also. So when they hear the word, they're going to be sanctified by it, they're going to be purified by it, 
and they are going to be cleansed by it and they are going to keep the words like we just read in uh, John John 17 that they are also going to be saved through the word that the prophets speak in the highways and byways verse 21 but all these things will they do unto you for my name's sake because they know not him that sent me so they didn't believe Yahushai back then because they didn't believe that he was the son of the Most High and that he was sent by the Most High, sent by Yahweh. So all these things they did to Yahushai, not knowing that he was the true son of the Most High. And they are also going to do it to us because they did not know Yahushai back then. So the servant is not greater than his lord the servant is not greater than his masters so those things that yahweh suffered we are also we also need to be in a mindset that we might have to go through these things but the scripture says he that endured in the end the same shall be saved see so with that i hope this video is edifying and i want to say kalhalayam la yahweh basham yahushai basham Shalom, Shalom. 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 Shalom.